For these youngsters, football is a gateway to the good life. They all dream of being the next big star to come out of Aces Academy, Zimbabwe's oldest football school. It's produced some of the players who helped Zimbabwe make it back to the Africa Cup of Nations after a 10-year absence. But the resurgence at senior level isn't being mirrored in the junior national teams despite an abundance of talent. Our football administrators don't have the ability to organize themselves in a manner that will enable this country to identify its best players and to bring them together and train them and prepare them for these tournaments. And as a result, we underperform when it comes to tournaments uh, like you know, under 17s, under 20, and so on. Consequently, a number of cadets learning their trade and craft here are frustrated by the lack of opportunities. They select players from their clubs. They don't look at all clubs. They just select the, their teams only. So that's the problem that under 20. I think they need to employ a, um, a coach from other country. But that's unlikely to happen under a cash-strapped Zimbabwe Football Association, which has come under fire. You know, FIFA pays money to you know, all the national associations, and part of that money should go towards grassroots uh, football development. It's not happening right now. We don't know where that money is going. It's definitely not playing any significant part in the development of Zimbabwean football today. But there is reason to still believe. Last year, there was under 18 Zimbabwe, which were a Region 5 competition. Some of our players, like six players, went for that tournament, and they came with a gold medal. And from there, now they are looking for junior policy so that they can play in Premier League, even going into Europe. With good governance becoming a key tenet in global football, local administration is also expected to improve. That, combined with a steady stream of talent being generated, means there is hope yet for many young players to realize their dreams. Farai Makutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.